what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more black sales i am going to try during this session here today to finish up black sales and move on to the next series in a week or so um yeah i'm trying my best to get through black sales um hopefully we can finish the, four, the final four episodes i think it's only 10 episodes for this season for the final season also uh, let's see how they finish things up man i'm excited to see um how maddie's mom is going to re react to finding out that she's dead i'm pretty sure she already kind of picks out because she didn't show it up there but the revolution has started man they're gonna get a lot more help um because of what flynn started um the last time i reacted um you know we got to see i think it was episode i want to say it's episode three where black um black beard or teach died you know and it was brutal and you guys you know commented a lot because i didn't know the concept i didn't understand what was going on because i was like oh they're dragging him against the sleeve floor but it's not actually the sea floor they were actually dragging him uh pulling him against the keel and it's called keel hauling i think you guys said <clears throat> um against the bottom of the, the 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 ship or the boat which is actually worse <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's worse because there's so many things on the bottom of a boat there's so many chips and uh and just it's just worse in my opinion um somebody remind because i was really trying to forget that scene because it was it, it was gross and just i mean i've seen some stuff but that because it was just how do you really torture somebody like that and then you guys said that this is something that they actually used to do back in the day and i'm like whoa man human beings we are some awful creatures man we come up with some of the most ridiculously <sighs> we're evil man do you know the kind of mind and the kind of thinking you have to have to be like yo this would be this this, this would be a great way to kill a person like you know it... <sighs> Just the, the just the mindset, bro. Like you have to have. Like even me as a soldier, I don't think I could have come up with that. Like I, I don't think me. I I think I would surprise myself if I was the one that came up with that idea. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be the person that came up with waterboarding, the person that came up with electrifying someone to death it doesn't matter man like you your mind gotta be in a different space the guy who created the atomic bomb the 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 you, you know what i'm saying like the guy who came up with guns like the the mind you have to have to be like you know what i'm tired of fist fighting with people it's time to end this with one bullet <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's it's just crazy to me and these deadly weapons that has been created over time and it just gets it's like before you know you, you know um it used to be like what you see them using in black sails the muskets and, and stuff like that where you gotta shoot one shot stuff in another one shoot again you know to you know semi-automatic weapons to fully automatic weapons to you know what i'm saying sniper rifles is just you know hollow point bullets like hollow point bullets is is not even it's not even a joke situation like that thing rips you to, to shred it basically gets into you and just mushroom out to leave shrapnel in your body so even if you get nicked by a hollow point it could still be seriously dangerous you know what i'm saying it's to you know people who think oh you can get shot in the head and by a hollow point and survive you know what i'm saying it's very unlikely for you to survive from a hollow point to the head because oh bruh you know i could go on and on but let's go watch the see <laughs> let's go watch and see what is going to take place now that we're in this position 
and I will see you guys for the review. This show is, it, it's written in, in such a way, right? It's written in such a way where it's like they want you to pick sides, but at the same time, it's like, you're like, which character is making the bad decision now? Like, look at the, 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 the arc that we went through with, um, Flint's character, right? Flynn's character comes from so such emotional baggage that he is that John helped him to get through those emotional ba baggage, right? And to get him back to a place where he has a trusted friend, and it's you know what I'm saying. And now we're seeing something coming between them again. And that, and, and you know I talked about this. Er I think it was earlier in the seasons where I, where where I was like I don't like how how Maddie was was trying to tell john about certain things and john would always like you know kind of combat it in a certain way and now we are in the in the situation where maddie has come around on flint you know what i'm saying and realizing how valuable it, it is for john and flint to be friends to be really good friends because with the two of them together they can basically accomplish anything their their level of leadership is like their partnership in things that they do is it's they're on unstoppable force when they set their mind to getting things done and trusting each other to do so she is the x factor now because without them finding her out that she is alive which i think in her opinion she knows that they're gonna fight to get her back she knows she doesn't have to accept those terms um i think if john decides to kill flint to save her and give up give up the cash to save her i think she's gonna be seriously upset with him seriously upset with him even though the last conversation they had was not the best let's be honest the, the conversation between john and maddie that wasn't the greatest conversation ever. You know what I'm saying? The way how that conversation left off made it seem like Maddie doesn't love him as much as he loves her. You get what I'm saying? It seemed like that. It seems like she is more for the cause. You get what I'm saying? Like, she's not the type of who is going to be like, I'm going to forget about all my people to go live a safe life with you if they have to run away together like she would never choose that she would rather die than let her and and the thing about it is that right now i know john is in his feelings he's in his feelings 100 percent he's in his feelings a lot of emotional decisions him digging up the cash as a fail safe is out of bounds and i'm pretty sure the the people are gonna notice and it's going to cause a ruckus. I don't think John could could bring himself to kill to kill Flint, but we'll see if that's going to happen by the end of the season. I think to all the situations that are happening right now, including um, Jack getting the help and the only thing he has to kill Flint, I think Flint is going to die by the end of these episodes and the end of this series. And um i'm going to be emotionally prepared for it because as i said as the type of person i don't know if he's going to die okay because i know you have to go oh he watched the episode already you know like i don't know you guys are probably looking at me like you're stupid <laughs> but but in any case as i said that's what i see happening it's like john could kill him jack could kill him it's just like it just kind of seems like they're mentally preparing us for Flint, the MC of the series, to die. And that's, um, if I was writing the story, that's what I would have done. I would, I would let him not necessarily go down in a blaze of glory, but due to the character that we've built up from season one to now, 
I think that would be the best way for this character to to end his story. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that would be the best way to end his story, you know? And that's just my opinion. That's not to say that that's how it's going to be. Um, we'll, we'll definitely, in three episodes, see what's going to happen, of course. But it's just, to me, I feel like that's where his story is, Eddie, and it would be very fitting for the character. You know? It would be very fitting for the character. So I'm looking forward to that. Um... Also, when it comes on to, you know, M Maddie's situation and, you know, them getting the help. And it's like, I love how Flynn spoke to John to, that, to help him to understand that, it, dude, it's not just about her. You can't make this about her. He learned, you're the same one that was telling him that he needs to get out of this funk about Miranda. You can't now be in that space. You get what I'm saying? Um, back then, maybe, you know, back then, maybe, you know, Flint would have done the same for Miranda. But the thing about it is that he, he waged war against these people for her. And you kind of took him out of that space. It's like you're driving us all down and not caring about the men. You got him to that space. And now he's asking you to trust them and say, listen, we're going to get her back. We're going to find out where she is and we're going to get her back. We're not forgetting about her. I just don't think that the best thing to do right now is to trade the money for her and to give up our, our basically our well-being, really, because they depend on this cash so much. This this damn cash has become a main character in the story, the way how they talk about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, without this cash, we're due. <laughs> you know? Um, he might as well be a damn person at this point in the series, so... Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do next, man. As I said, I'm sitting down right now to do all four episodes, um, to finish up this series. I don't know which series I'm going to do next, but you'll definitely know when that time comes. I'm also probably going to finish up Sons of Anarchy before I jump into another series. Um, I have about a season and a half left, um, for Vi for Vikings for sons of anarchy so it's probably going to be i'll probably just um use the time that i have for black sales to finish up sons of anarchy so i can basically every series that i'm the two series that would replace those i can just watch them outright as new series on the channel so i'm basically going to do that but in any case thank you guys so much for tuning in as always um it was a great episode um, well done as always, man. Black Sails doesn't seem like it missed. I think every single episode that I've watched of Black Sails was great episodes. The only thing that could possibly steer me off of giving this entire series a 10 out of 10 would be visual aspects that, and that was early on in the series when, you know, when you're just starting out, you know what I'm saying? There are going to be some noticeable CGI stuff if it's a if it's a series that's about that so um you're gonna notice it you get what i'm saying but i'm not gonna take points off for that because i know early budget is to see if a series is going to do well so you get a certain amount of money then if the series do well you know season two is going to be better if season two does well season three gets even better because the budget keeps going up for the series okay so i'm not going to take points off for that if it wasn't, if, if I had nothing and I was just judging this based on just story, the series is flawless. And that's just my honest opinion. It's just a flawless series. Well done. No plot holes. Just straight continuity. It, it just works. You get what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate y'all. And I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment. And I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.